Okay, and we have 336 DC. Read probe to the negative pin of the bridge rectifier and black probe on AC. And Good day guys. Before we start, special shout out to our friends Fix in Review for giving us a shout out also and uh, the link of his YouTube channel will be on the description below. And also, special thanks to all the Facebook groups that allowing us to publish our post. So, here they are. I cannot uh, mention it one by one. So, here it is. And also, don't forget to follow on our Facebook page. Okay. I have here with me four bridge rectifier. Let's start checking one by one. As you can see, this is the positive pin of the bridge rectifier. This is the negative, and the two in the middle are the AC input. First thing we have to do is to put the red probe on the negative pin of the bridge rectifier and the black probe on AC. So we should get a voltage drop from 0 0.4 up to 0 0.9. So in this reading, we got 0 0.5. Let's transfer the black probe to another AC pin and we got 0 0.4 now let's reverse the probe the red probe on the AC and the black probe on the negative pin of the bridge rectifier and we should get OL transfer to another AC pin and we should get OL. Then, the next thing we have to do is to put the black probe on the positive pin of the bridge rectifier and the red probe on the AC pins. So we should get a voltage drop. Here we have 0 0.5 and transfer to the other AC pin and we have another 0 0.5 then reverse the probe and we are getting OL now red probe on the negative pin of the bridge rectifier and black probe on the positive we should get a higher voltage drop here we have 0 0.9 and sometimes it can go up to 1 point something so let's uh, reverse the probe And we have OL. Now let's check the AC pin. We have OL. And the other one, we have OL. So all the tests that we do, it shows that this bridge rectifier is a good bridge rectifier. Let's proceed to the other one. Okay, same procedure. Read probe to negative pin. In black probe on AC and we have 0 0.4 transfer to another AC pin we have 0 0.4 so far it shows that it is good now black probe on negative and red probe on AC we have we have OL transfer to another AC pin and we have OL so far so good now black probe to the positive pin and red probe on AC and we have 0 0.4 voltage drop transfer to another AC and we have 0 0.4 voltage drop 
So far, it shows it is good. Let's reverse the probe. We have OL. Transfer to another AC pin. And we have OL. Now, red probe to positive pin. And black probe to negative. We have OL. It's good. Reverse the probe. We should get a higher voltage drop. You see? Now, let's check the AC pin. We got OL. Reverse the probe. And we got OL. So it shows that this bridge rectifier is a good one. Now I have here another one. Read probe to the negative pin of the bridge rectifier and black probe on AC. And we got 0, 0.0 and there is a beep. So it is an indicator that this bridge rectifier is short or shorted. So since we detected already a short here, Whatever the result of our next test on other pins, it doesn't matter anymore. This bridge rectifier is defective and should not be used. Or if it is on the board, it should be replaced. So let's proceed to another one. Red probe to negative pin. And black probe on the AC. Oh... We have another short. So this is also defective. So as what I have told you, since we detected already a short, the next reading of the other pins don't matter anymore. It is defective and need to be replaced. I have here another type of uh, bridge rectifier. As you can see, this is the positive terminal and this is the AC. And this one is also AC, and here is the negative DC. See, I make a label here, AC, negative DC. So let's try to test this one, and let us see what result we will get. Okay, now, let's put the negative probe on the positive pin. And check the AC pins. So we have 0 0.45. So, so it's good in the other pin. Also 0 0.45. Now reverse the probe. Red probe to the positive. And black probe to AC we should get OL other AC pin we get OL so this is a good indication now red probe to the negative pin and black probe to the AC pins and we have 0 0.45 other pin also 0 0.45 so this is also a good indication and let's reverse so we got ol on the other pin we got ol so let's check the two output terminals the positive and the negative pins here We have OL. Now, if we reverse the probe, we are expecting a higher voltage drop. And we have 0 0.83. And let's check any short or reading on the AC pins. Mm -hmm. 
we got nothing even if we reverse nothing so the test says that this bridge rectifier is a good bridge rectifier so this is not defective okay guys we have here a power supply and in this power supply we will try to check the bridge rectifier so it is here at the back so this is the bridge rectifier let me show this one to you on a close-up so the two pins here these are the AC input and the two pins here are the output DC so this is the negative and this one is the positive so what we are going to do is we will give a supply voltage on this power supply and we will measure the input AC and the output DC so we will check if this bridge rectifier is functional so this is the bridge rectifier on this board and uh, there is already a supply voltage so as you can see here on the input AC we have 238 volts so now let us measure the output DC so meter on DC mode so what do you think how much we will get on the output DC okay so let's measure it okay and we have 336 DC we've got an input AC of 238 and we have a output DC of 336 it is because the output DC is equals to AC times square root of 2 so by checking this uh, bridge rectifier while it is on the board by supplying an input voltage we are able to determine if this bridge rectifier is defective or functional so again we will check the output DC see we've got 336 so that's it guys this is how you check a bridge rectifier I hope you enjoyed the video so don't forget to subscribe share and hit the notification bell.